Here's everything new in Iowa 17.2 Beta 1. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and Apple has just released the first beta of iOS 17.2. I'm going to walk you through all of the new features here and there's kind of a lot to talk about. Exciting new things like the journal app is finally being released. We have new features for the action button. Yes, I'm going to get into all of it in this video. So let's go ahead and dive in. For me, this update weighed in at 6.39 gigs. Pretty hefty for this update, but the mileage may vary depending on which device you happen to have. Here you can see we have iOS 17.2 installed on my iPhone 15 Pro Max. We're coming with model number 21C5029G. Uh, as many people know, as you get closer to A for that last letter, it's going to be telling you how close you are to a stable final release. This is the first beta, so we're at G, but as we get closer, that build number will increase and the beta will get more stable before we get an RC and a final release, possibly by the end of this year. The first thing, of course, to talk about is the journal app. Now, this did come pre-installed with iOS 17, but it is available technically on the App Store. Again, you need 17.2 to actually use this though. So let's go ahead and open this up. This is the welcome screen. Now I'm gonna do much more of a deep dive into journal in another like standalone video, but just to give you kind of an idea on how the journal app looks, how it works, there's different entries here. There's a lot of stuff to explore. So we're gonna do a deep dive elsewhere, but just know that journal is arriving with iOS 17.2. Apple's TV app got redesigned a little bit with iOS 17.2. Honestly, it's a much bigger redesign up on the Apple TV where there's like a new sidebar down the side. And the same thing applies for iPad. Um, I like how they actually brought all the different kind of third party apps into one location. Overall, it's a nice improvement for the Apple TV, but we're getting a little bit of a redesign here with iOS 17.2 on iPhone. In the music app, we have a new favorite songs playlist. Others have done this and Apple had promised this was coming and here it is. So basically all of your favorited songs can show up in one singular spot, really handy. Apple added other favorite features with iOS 17.1, including the ability to favorite playlist as well as albums and songs. Um, we also have the ability to like, filter your whole library by just favorited content. Speaking of playlists, there's now collaborative playlists. You can actually invite friends to join a playlist, approve or don't have to approve those collaborators and you guys can work together on a playlist. It's super cool, I love this new feature. If you have an iPhone 15 Pro or 15 Pro Max, there's a new feature for the action button. Now you can assign that button to translate. You can translate phrases or have a full conversation with someone in another language. So we go ahead and set it to translate. Let's go and we're gonna press our action button. You can see it's listening here at the top and I'm going to convert this to Spanish in this case. Perfect, and now it's gonna play that back for me and I can hear it. This is so cool, I love this. This is gonna be great for anyone traveling, multi-language uh, situations. This is so cool, I love this new functionality for the action button. In messages, there is new contact key validation. This is a new security feature that'll help you know for certain that you are conversing with who you believe you are conversing with. If you want more information on this, definitely check out the linked article down below. There's a new focus filter for Apple Music. That way you can prevent things like sleep sounds from showing in your personal playlists. iOS 17.2 has additional weather widgets that you can add. And on top of that, there's a new digital clock widget that you can see here. So that's it. That's everything new in iOS 17.2 beta one. Stay tuned to Apple Insider. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll give you more updates as we get closer to the release of Apple's next update.